welcome back to the Rita Question channel. So today I thought I would vlog and do a like follow around with me for the day because I've got to do the horses in the morning and I've got uni in the afternoon so I thought it might be quite interesting to see how I fit it all in in one day. And off with my OOTD I have the Great Equestrian Navy base layer on, my Monchara jumper which is so cosy for the winter, my Great Equestrian leggings as well to match my base layer and then a great scrunchie. some chaff in their bucket and I'll give them the actual dinner later on because I'm going to be riding so I don't want to give them the dinner too soon. Um, today I was going to ride Eva in the arena but it's a wee bit soggy today now so the weather isn't that great. I might then take her out of trek, see how she goes out of trek because um, she's been acting up a wee bit. She's got a thing now when she hacks that she acts up just before we get actually onto the route. Like there's another couple of horses just up the road and oh, there she is. And she starts freaking out as soon as she gets to them. So we'll see how it goes because the ground's going to be a bit slippery as well. And then Lila, just then here. She's having a wee rest day today. She's been doing a lot of flat work and lessons, so she deserves a wee rest. about my grooming routine with the horses and I always start on the left hand side and start from the neck and work my way down spending so much time on the legs. During the winter I do like to make sure that I get majority of the muck off their legs just to prevent mud fever and also just to check their legs to make sure that they don't have any cuts and I can treat them straight away. And then when I move around to the right hand side, I start from the bum and work my way up to the mane. The brush that I'm using is one of the magic type brushes and also I'll use this on the mane just to get the initial tugs out of it before brushing it with an actual comb. go over the full body again with a body brush this time to get the remaining dust and dirt that's been left behind. Brushing Eva's face is a challenge and I'll have to tackle her to actually get it done but I just used the body brush to do this as well because it's still quite soft and will be fine for the face. just go over the mane and tail with a mane and tail brush and I'll usually use some spray but this day our mane was still quite soft from pulling it. And 
last but not least and the most important part is picking out the hoofs just to get any mud and stones. Eva in the arena today because I do want to do some flat work with her rather than take her out the trek. I'm just going to show how I set up my pivo because I do get a lot of questions about it so I'll show you. So this is my arena that I ride in. It's a bit muddy today but it'll do. We won't do too much cantering just in case she slips. The fence badly <laughs> needs fixed. That might be a summer project for myself. So this is my pivo and I've just got the pivo underneath. It's actually a doggy put scoop bag but it's just to keep the rain off it because I'm scared in case it gets water damaged. So just a stand. I got the stand off of pivo as well. It was one of the sets and then it's just set up a wee bit further down to that end of the arena today because I'm going to do a lot of circle work so I've just got two poles. So when I come into the arena I actually put my phone up on here when I'm on Eva because she doesn't allow me to get on up in the arena. I have to do it down at the yard so she's actually quite good with going over to it and allowing me to put my phone on it and then I can just use the remote control that it comes with. Eva up, there she is there. I'm just going to tell you a little thing that I think is quite good. The reason why I got the Apple Watch back in May was actually to track my riding and to see how many um, calories that I burned during the ride and just to see how long we've been riding for it. I keep track of how long my um, warm-ups are, how long I'm actually doing the exercises for. It shows you the heart rate as well so you can see it on your phone as well and you can track when your heart rate was the highest during your exercise and I just thought that was really helpful. Once um, the timer on my Apple Watch gets to about 10 minutes I start doing my warm-up routine with the horses and that usually lasts about 15 minutes and then we can start doing the proper exercises that I've planned that day for them. So today is actually Eva's doing some circle work and um, we've got some poles down as well just two poles going around the circle just to make her um, lift her legs up a bit more and keep it interesting for her rather than just typical circle work we'll also be doing little mini circles in the corners as well just to keep that bending going and these are our field neighbours marmalade and jed they're welsh these i think i'm not too sure don't hold me to that marmalade is unbroken just now so she's a little summer project for our owner and hopefully i'll get to help out as well that's quite exciting
that work session, it's getting a wee bit too rainy and she's not enjoying it. She's been throwing the odd buck and everything into it. So we're just going to call it a day there. I got some footage, but sadly my people wasn't charged. So I just had to um, set the camera up on the tripod. But you know what, it worked and I've still got some footage. So I'm quite happy with that. So we're just cooling Eva off for about a couple of minutes and then we'll be heading back down because she's miserable. She hates the rain. Any time I've rode it in the rain, she's just been mayhem, so not going to force her and just going to take her back down. I've got one soggy, dirty Lipizzana here, but look at the saddle pad, like it is amazing. The colours are gorgeous and it really suits being on a grey. She wasn't really that great, but it was just because it was raining and I know she doesn't like the rain, <laughs> she's after it. So is Lila, and we'll give Lila a wee groom. You dropped it! Oh, this is one of the border terrier puppies. Here you go. get a scoop of beet pulp and happy hoof chaff and then just our supplements as well are you excited to get your food she's always this she does a wee stompy dance right back back ready lila She lifts her leg when she eats. <laughs> Those are finally mucked out, both of them are done. Now it's time to go to uni.
finally done. I've been in there for an hour and a half. We had a horse head practical all about the structures within the head region, such as nerves, sinuses, muscles, and anything that can go wrong with form nerve blocks. And it was just dissected specimens on tables, so I didn't really want to film anything. It's just not nice to see. Um, Another thing with uni, I wanted to say that I go in one day a week for practical classes and everything else is online. We have some practicals online as well where the lecturer goes through some of the specimens as well and some lab things that we would need to know about. What I take to uni is my iPad to take some notes on when I'm in the practical and also just to look things up. I also have the Apple Pencil which I do write down a lot. Um, the notes that I'll need for that practical that day, just notes that I've written up and notes that they've provided as well. I'm just going to end the vlog off here guys. I've got nothing else that I'm going to be doing with my evening other than eating food and studying. Thank you for following me about today when I've had the horses in the morning and uni in the afternoon. Sometimes it can be the other way about when I have uni in the morning and the horses in the afternoon. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!